Hello, friends. Welcome to the November ritual recording. Um, this has been a crazy month. Um, and so it's been really hard to show up lately in most spaces, including the normal. Um, but all that to say, I am happy to share space with you here um, to use art as medicine and as a tool to work through these hard times. I have been drawing a lot, even painting again. Been a heavy, heavy time. Um, so with that said, let's, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this uh, creative practice. I wanted to share this quote just because, of course, it is always nice to be reminded of the power of this purpose, the power of this medicine, the power of holding space for yourself and making art, even if it doesn't make sense. Art has the power to transform, to illuminate, to educate, inspire, and motivate. And that is Harvey Feinstein. And I, I just feel like it's important to be reminded of the nourishment that art has in store for us. Um, and that's really why I do this Patreon altogether is because the healing power of art has deeply um, has healed me some. <laughs> so, transformed, for sure. With that said, uh, this weekend is the new moon. So I am recording this on Friday the 29th. Um, and depending on where you are in the world, the new moon is going to be on Saturday or Sunday. Um, but it is a new moon in Sagittarius. And here is a classic depiction of our Sagittarian energy, right? New moon uh, is when the moon and sun are conjunct. It is a time when the moon is dark and no longer visible. And as you know, our theme has been surface. So we're specifically thinking about what is beneath the surface and the new moon I think is a good teacher around this because it is a time of planting seeds of intention we are at the darkest part of the lunar cycle and so with this invitation it's a time to dive into the subconscious the dream like worlds below the surface of what we can see and really connecting again to um to our inner vision and of course that is what is below the surface right we do the work but that is all just surface level in a way And of course, with this being a new moon and Sagittarius, it is an invitation to work with this energy of the teacher more deeply, to cradle the creative spark, to honor the magic that lies within us all, again, beneath the surface of normal. So honoring that fire, Sagittarius is a fire sign. It is also uh, uh, mutable energy. It is the energy of wrapping up this period that is fall. We are approaching winter quickly. Um, the darkest night is soon to come. And with it, Capricorn season. Love that. I'm a Capricorn. Love that for me. Um, but this new moon in Sagittarius 
Uh, I've heard a lot of people talk about it's it's got some really interesting aspects, some positive aspects. Of course, it is Mercury retrograde. This is apparently supposed to be a more positive sort of take on Mercury RX. But one thing I just want to kind of like highlight is that the magic of the new moon, of the dark moon, is really embracing the shadowy self in a way, but it's also hyper fixating on that energy of the sign because the sun and moon are conjunct. They're in the same sign. You're almost getting a super whew, of that sign. We are getting a super whew, of that energy. We are being asked to step into this space of intensity with that energy. So it is Sagittarius season. It's also temperance and, and the tarot. So it might be a good time to pull that out. Um, if you don't already do that in your practice, maybe look up an image of it, print it out, is just the epicenter of that energy. Like looking at images like this, looking at the image of temperance. These are teachers, uh, visual teachers, in a very esoteric understanding of the world, right? There is no one size fits all with these experiences with this magic there is simply what we understand as our own knowing and of course that is the surface the surface level gives us something to work with but it is not all of it um so this is the prompt from uh our our prompts this month our creative uh, sketchbook prompts to explore. Now, shapes are a fundamental element of art. They can be implied with two colors coming up against each other and interacting, or they can be drawn with actual line, maybe given form. We, for all intensive purposes today, are really just going to work with um, either solid or linear shapes on our paper and allowing the shapes that we draw, paint, whatever it is, to be the starting point of our intuitive channeling. We're kind of just laying out almost like putting down runes and, and trying to read what comes forth um, from the images and how they lay upon each other. And of course, while working, uh, thinking about how these spaces can be the shape of a more profound entity. So they are the seeds we are planting, right? This is kind of like a new moon ritual, really, because we're looking beneath the surface. We're seeing the objective surface and exploring what is beneath that, right? So this is where we can really explore this theme that has been our work of the month. And of course, December, we work with a new thing. But what we can ask ourselves is what can the surface of a shape hold? And that's just the starting point. That is just the start of it all. How can we see this as an invitation to play with our intuition and subconscious magic? Letting the thinking brain kind of fade and allowing our creative brain to take over. You can use whatever materials you would like. I will be using um, pen and paper, micron pen and paper. But really follow your heart on this. As always, any prompts that we're exploring or any ritual we are doing, you follow what feels good. So let's take a moment, set up space. Now you can use organic or geometric shapes. Organic shapes are 
shapes found in nature or do not have a specific rhyme or reason where geometric shapes are going to be um, more uniform in nature and more uh, of a element of design like you see in front of you right here. So we're gonna start by drawing some shapes on our paper. And I want you to just take some time afterwards to journal, really sit with your intention today. If you have one, if you don't, you'll find one, I know you will. Um, but once you've drawn your shapes with either a uh, line or color or both, just kind of scattered throughout the paper, again, follow your intuition. I want you to journal around the question, what am I meant to learn by working with you today? And then when done, just take some time to gaze at your piece and being present before our meditation. And of course, wake up. But first and foremost, let's do some intuitive drawing, just the basic shapes. You don't have to put form into this. You can keep it pretty flat. This is just a ritual exercise, so. I'll check back in soon. Don't forget to journal. What am I meant to learn by working with you today? Is the question for your materials, your paper, your pencils, whatever it is.
Again, if you need more time to do this part, please feel free to uh, pause this video. Do what you need to. Before we dive into uh, meditation, I want to kind of set some, some intentions here. So today we allow our mind to wander for all that comes through is from the surface, below the surface, from below the surface of the active mind. In our subconscious, we can connect to source. Begin to think about what that means to you. Then take time to journal about how you feel this surface has more to offer than what is visible to the naked eye. And I say that as an invitation to look at your paper, your canvas, whatever it is, to just observe. Before we get into a quick meditation, I want you to really study the surface of your paper as a sacred space through which we collaborate with our higher selves, with our inner child, with these energies that fuel us. And that we make space knowing that this is the magic we are meant to tap into. We hold space for that which has come before us. We hold space for the complexities within the yes ands, the no ands, the this and more. So take a deep breath here. Hold it at the top and just feel it move and let it out with a sigh. And study the forms you've placed on your paper. If you wish to call in any supportive guides, ancestors, anything like that, please do so now. Get adjusted, get comfy. And just take a moment to simply close your eyes and get comfortable. Connect with the breath and imagine your piece of art that you are working on in your mind. Peace we are about to embark on and embrace the surface and then below it. Take a deep breath here. Let it out with a sigh. Visualize your peace in front of you and simply be here for a moment. Feel in out, feel into the body, notice if there's any sensations that come up and breathe in deeply, bright white light. And exhale all that does not serve you. Again, breathing in deep inhalation of a white light, exhaling what does not serve you. Find stillness here, imagining your art in front of you in your mind's eye as if your eyes were open. You just be here for a moment, feeling into the body, noticing any sensations, just allowing all muscles to relax, no right or wrong. Imagine this piece of art you are working on, engaging with, asking, 
what am I here to learn about the surface? Inhale in. And let it out with a sigh. Come back to the body. And come back to the room. I'm just going to leave these reminders up while you are working. And just take your time. When you are ready, begin. And remember, there is no wrong or right. There is only exploring the sur what is beneath the surface. And I'll check back in soon.
Yeah, I'm going to cut this uh, session a little short for me. But as always, please, please, please pause the video. Put on your own music if you haven't already. Keep going. Explore the surface. Get fucking messy. Get weird. Cut out things, glue them down, add color. Continue being as engrossed as possible. Uh -huh. But with that said, I will leave you with some of uh, my thoughts and feelings before we are done and you go back to your regularly scheduled life program. Um, you can revisit this practice again and again. There is no reason um, to not. You can reconnect with old art by playing with this idea, by adding elements, or just starting a new one with this same seed that you are planting. Um, because that's what it's all about, right? is forming a deep relationship with self and our inner knowing, using our magic for what feels best. Um, so I hope you will continue to do that and continue on this piece, or if you're at the end, um, reflect think about what happened through this process that you um, thought supported you, maybe didn't support you. So always let me know your thoughts whether it's on Patreon or on the comic bo comment box down below. Connect with your magic daily and see where it takes you. Until next time, friends. Bye-bye.